Hey, what's up guys? In this Lightroom Classic tutorial, I'm going to show you how to correct the perspective using the transform tool, or at least improve the perspective. So with this image of this, uh, I think it's a museum I took in uh, Panama, Panama City several years ago, uh, I'm going to correct the perspective. The first thing I want to do is use the lens correction and enable profile corrections just to improve the distortion a little bit. It made a subtle change, but it looks good. And now I'm going to go to the transform tool. So the transform tool has several options. The basic ones are level, which corrects the horizontal perspective. Then there's vertical, which corrects the vertical perspective. And then there's auto, which corrects the level or the horizontal perspective and the vertical perspective at the same time while also trying to keep the image intact or keep as much of the image in the original crop. As you can see this photo, it wasn't a good perspective or a good composition that I took when I took this photo because you can see this area is cropped out. But nonetheless, then there's also full which combines auto, vertical and level. So once I click on full, it does all of this, but it doesn't keep as much of the photo intact. So there's a little bit of white cropping here. So I have to click on constrain crop and the photo, I just made it worse. So in my opinion, the best is just to keep it on auto. Auto usually works pretty good most of the time. And now I have to correct this crop. So I'll press R and let me just actually, let me go here and let me go to as shot. That looks good. Now I'll stay in the transform tool. So I'm going to click on off here. And there is another tool I want to show you, which is called the upright or the guided. So with the upright, I'm going to click on this. And what you need to do is put some vertical or horizontal lines to help improve the perspective. So I just want to make these vertical lines or this building on the side edges straight. There's one. So I'm just clicking and dragging with this. And there's two. And now you can see the crop looks a little bit better. Let me reset this and let me turn it off. So let's compare auto and then compare it to guided. So guided looks a little bit better than auto, but as I was saying at the beginning of the video or tutorial, I didn't do a good job with the composition of this photo. I should have cropped out or did a wider shot, but maybe there was like cars or something on the side here. And that's why I did the composition like this. Now, when I click on auto, you can see there's this update icon or update button that's grayed out. And the reason it's grayed out is if I remove enable profile corrections and then go back to transform, you have the option of updating it with the distortion removed. And by the way, this lens correction, it's actually wrong. It should be a Tamron lens. And let me take a look here. Yeah, that looks better. So anyways, let me go back here and go to the transform tool. So most of the time when you're correcting or transforming or using the transform tool to correct perspective, usually auto works really good. But in this case, I think guided looks a little bit better with the crop. See how much it cropped. So guided did not do any cropping. But if I go to auto, auto did not do any cropping either. So that looks good. And then there's also these manual adjustments if you want to play with it. But usually I don't need to, but they're here if you want to and then I'll just constrain the crop and make this perspective even worse. Anyways, I'll reset this entire image and then I'll go and give you another example of using the guided tools right here. So this is inside the museum and you can see the perspective is a little bit off here. And one of the things about correcting perspective is it's not always easy to correct the perspective of the entire image. And depending on how wide or how narrow you shoot, it impacts the perspective, of course. And usually distortion or perspective is a disoriented with when there's vertical or horizontal lines, especially in buildings. So anyways, I'll start off with auto and let's see how this does. So it definitely improved the image a lot more. But you can see it's this is not vertically straight and this is the center. So maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll go to guided. I'll put a guide here. I'll put a guide here. That looks a little bit better. Let me see what happens when I put a guide there. So I definitely corrected it more. I'll put a guide here. Put a guide here. 
and now as you can see the maximum amount of guides is four so what I'll do is I'll click on this guide here and I'll delete it by pressing the delete or backspace and so these three guides right here one two three is good enough and one other thing is when you're correcting the perspective of an image you need to make sure and pay attention to to not distort any other part of the image such as the people or if it's outside of a building you're not distorting what's it called a lamp or a lamp post or if there's any cars or anything like that you got to make sure you're not distorting anything else in the background but other than that let's see the before and after so you can definitely see a, a huge improvement in this perspective of this image and let me see if lens correction is on let me enable it so even with the lens correction on it's even better but I need to click on update to see how it looks that was a subtle change so I hope you guys know how to use the transform tool now it's pretty straightforward and most of the time you're just going to use auto but when there's a lot of buildings or vertical and horizontal lines then you may want to use guided and if you guys enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe and follow me on Instagram and as always live easy sleep breezy and stay lovely